I had heard good things about the Army Painter speed paints from friends, but I was skeptical. As a longtime miniature painter, I tended to be set in my ways using the same brands and techniques I'd relied on for years. But when I saw an ad for their new speed paint Mega Set 2.0, something compelled me to give it a try. After opening the huge set of 50 paints, I was impressed by the range and quality of the colors. The rich hues and smooth consistency seemed perfect for blending and glazing. I also appreciated the inclusion of metallics, as finding good metallic paints can be tricky. For my first test, I grabbed an unpainted miniature I had sitting around an elven ranger I'd been meaning to paint for ages but hadn't gotten around to. I quickly primed him with a neutral gray, then began layering on the speed paints. I was amazed at how smoothly the paint flowed from the bottle and covered the model. The guide that came with the set was handy for tips on application techniques too. In practically no time, I had achieved smooth transitions between color shifts on his cloak and added depth to the textures on his armor and boots. The metallic silver paint went on like a dream for his weapons and buckles with a gorgeous sheen. I almost couldn't believe I had finished this mini in under an hour when previously a piece this detailed would have taken me days of painstaking layering and blending. Now I am completely hooked on these Army Painter speed paints. They have revolutionized and reinvigorated my approach to miniature painting. My paint station is filled with their rich hues, and all my friends marvel at how quickly I can churn out beautifully painted minis now. I can't wait to see what I can create with them next. After having such great success with my first speed painted miniature, I couldn't wait to try out more of these game-changing paints. I decided my next project would be a larger scale bust I had been putting off starting. I began by priming the bust in a custom mix of gray and white primer to better show off the subtle layers of color shifts and blending I had planned. Consulting the painting guide again for tips, I based the skin areas in a warm beige speed paint, then started glazing on highlights and shadows. The flesh tones and paint consistency made blending such a breeze. In no time, I had a realistic skin tone starting to emerge on his face. I used some green and brown speed paint mixes to quickly build up dimension in his hair and beard as well. The paint flowed smoothly even over large textured areas, with no streaking or uneven coverage at all. After the face and hair were done, I had fun playing with muted shade combinations on his tunic, alternating between feathered blending and wet-on-wet -wet mixing between layers. The array of earthy tones and secondary colors made easy work of creating a sense of light and shadow. I was stunned to realize the entire bust was complete in a few short painting sessions. As I gazed proudly at my new pieces, I know I couldn't have achieved these results so quickly and easily without my Army Painter Speed Paint Mega Set. My friends may tease me for becoming completely obsessed with speed painting everything lately, but I simply can't imagine going back to my old ways now that I've discovered how much time and frustration these paints save. I think the Army Painter has won themselves a customer for life.